Hi everybody. I um have some new crystals and I wanted to share them. Um let's see. I'll just cover the easiest ones first. This is uh, rose quartz. And this is Apophyllite with Stillbite. And let's see. Okay, the rest of this is primarily calcite, and what happened recently was a local rock hound, a local collector, a man, um, he passed, he was in his 90s, and he had been collecting since he was a teenager, I believe. So in any case, his son had a sale of his collection. And it was quite a collection. And um, quite a bit of it was actually just in the garage collecting dust, sadly. So I'm glad to have had an opportunity to acquire some of these pieces. Because I do have other calcite. Like I have a piece of optical calcite. And then I have um, some other calcite I think I've shared before. Just regular like... Um, green, yellow, blue, but none with these sorts of shapes to them. So, let's see. I'm just going to share something. Oh yeah, okay, so, let's see, I only have one of these, so I'll show this first. This is a dog's tooth, or dog tooth calcite, which if you look at the shape of it, it's pretty obvious how it has that name. And this piece I love because it is sitting on pyrite. See? Cool, huh? And then I have two of these stellar beam calcites. you can see everything in here. So this one's pretty cute. And then this is another one. And this one is sitting on some pyrite. See? Hopefully you can see the pyrite in there. And these were not expensive at all. These were exceptionally good finds today. And let's see. Um, I'll show this one next. This is also a calcite. The top reminds me of snow. And then if you flip it over, it looks like this. Hopefully you can see all the points on there. So on this side it's all points, like that. And then on this side, they look like little snowballs. <laughs> Cute, huh? Okay, and then this one is really pretty. I think this one could use a little tiny bit more cleaning up.
and this one. There's in it the underneath part of it. So you can kind of see how it forms. And this one has interesting color, but mostly I find the shape of it real interesting. There were some other super cool pieces there, but they were pretty pricey. I'm, I'm real happy with what I got. Okay, and then there's this last one I wanted to show. Which, I asked Trey, and I think he said this was calcite on fluorite. But to me, it looks a lot like stillbite. Um, but, you know, he's the expert, but... I guess calcite can form in so many different structures and shapes. But does that look like fluoride underneath to you? I don't know. I might take it back in there and examine it a little more closely just to understand better. Anyway, I thought it was a really cool, unique piece, so I picked that one up for a song. It wasn't too pricey at all. So yeah, those are my new pieces, and before I got them all taken care of and find a place for them, I thought I would share some this time. So if you enjoy crystals and rocks and things like that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I uh, thank you for watching, and I wish you many blessings, and I will see you soon. Bye.